So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telesco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about exceptions. You know when, when it comes to uh, programming, we are, we are concerned about errors, right? Normally when you write a software, uh, we don't expect output, we expect errors, right? So whenever you write the first code for C programming, maybe if you're learning Java, if you're learning any language, the first concern you have is errors, right? Uh, if you write a code, the first thing you see is an error, right? Example, if you have, you can, you know, when you uh, declare a variable, but with, uh, when you don't declare a variable and you try to use it, when you, uh, when you perform all those actions, you get errors. But in Java, we have different types of errors, right? So if we talk about errors, we have two things here. We have errors and exceptions, okay? So we have two different things. So we have errors and we have exceptions. So basically what happens is, uh, when you write a software, there, there, there might be lots of uh, different kinds of exceptions, right? Example, you're trying to open a file and file doesn't exist, right? So there's an exception. Uh, you're asking for the input from the user and user is not giving, the, the, giving you the input. So that's an exception. You're trying to uh, you're trying to run a process, but CPU is not available. So that's an exception. You're trying to divide a number by zero, and that's an exception, right? So there are different kinds of exceptions. So normally this exception is, uh, you know, they have a tree here for this exception. So the main class is the throwable class. So you can see that on the top. So so if you talk about the exception hierarchy, so the main class is throwable. Okay, uh, that's a catch here. Normally what happens is whenever you have a able at the end example uh, clonable closable uh, then we have what serializable so all this able that interfaces but here this throwable is not interface it's a class okay so the subclass of throwable is exception okay so in fact we have two we have exception and errors so difference between exception and errors are so exception we can handle as a user as a programmer we can handle the exception what about errors we cannot handle errors example uh, your jvm is not working properly what you can do for that nothing right uh, maybe your 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 ram is going out of memory uh, you cannot do anything for that right so errors you cannot handle what about exceptions exceptions are something you can handle right now in exception we have two different types again one is a checked exception and then we have unchecked exceptions again we'll talk about that later but we have two things we have checked and we have unchecked right so let's, let's, let's talk about what exactly exception means first and then we'll discuss what is checked and unchecked. You know when you talk about a software or uh, when you talk about any code, you know when you, when you build a software there are lots of statements, right? So the statement can be uh, initial, initialization statement, there can be uh, some operations, there may be class definition, method definition, there are different type of state, statements, right? So we can classify these statements in two types. The first type of statements are called as normal statement. And the second type of statement is called as critical statement. Now, what exactly it means? Uh, you know, when you let's say you you are you are you are you know you have a nephew with you, a small small kid with you. You are going out somewhere, okay? And you are you are sitting in a restaurant and you are having something. And your that kid, the small kid, he is running here and there. And that's okay, right? There will not be any big issue because it's a restaurant. Maximum, what will happen is he will fall down, and then that, that's okay, right? So, but if you're, if you're walking on highway and suddenly you're, that kid leaves your hand and running on the highway alone and that's critical, right? So you will run, for, run to catch him, right? So there are two different situations. One is normal situation and second is critical situation, right? In the same way, in your software, when you write a code, we have two double statements. Normal statement where you will not face any problem. Then we have critical statement in which you may uh, face some problem. Example, if I say int i equal to 1, there's no problem with that, right? We can assign a value 1 to an integer variable. That's okay. So that's normal statement. But as soon as I say int k is equal to i divided by j, now this statement becomes critical. Now you will say what, what's, what's critical in that? The thing is j, the value of j might be 0. In this situation, any number divided by 0 will throw an exception, right? So that's a critical statement. So first you have to classify your uh, normal statement from critical statements, okay? So you can write the normal statement in normal way, but the problem starts when you want to handle the critical statements. So whenever you have critical statements, always write your critical statements inside a block, okay? Now what that block means is, if that block is generating any kind of exception, it's you, you have to handle it, okay? Then question arise, how will you handle it? So for that, we have to use a block, which will be called as try block. 
okay so you can see here so we have this statement inside a try block okay if you find any exception if you find any problem there the pointer your your execution will go to catch now what it means so let's say if you are if you are right if you have written this statement which is i uh, int k equal to i divided by j where j is zero it will throw okay it will throw the exception so normally what happens in java everything is object right so it will create the what do you say it will create the object of exception and it will throw the exception now you have to catch it now how will you catch it so we use a try block and then we use a catch block so this catch block will catch the exception okay so throw, try will throw it catch will catch it okay now there are different kinds of exceptions right so this is the this is normal uh, what do you say the sample we have try we have catch okay so if you are trying uh, so this i divided by zero will throw an arithmetic exception so you have to catch an arithmetic exception but let's say in your block you have another another type of exception which is maybe io exception example if you are trying to open a file and then the file is not available it, may throw, it will throw an exception right so we require a catch which will accept io exception but unfortunately we have a catch here which only takes arithmetic right so what we have to do is we have to write one more catch so we can have one try and we can have two catch statements one catch will accept uh, which which will work for uh, arithmetic exception one catch will work for io exception let's say in your block you have one more uh, exception again you have to write one more catch there but the problem is uh, let's say there is there is a statement and you don't know what kind of exception it will throw now what so we can go for a general exception called as exception okay exception is a superclass of all the exceptions so if you talk about io exception the superclass is exception uh, what more arithmetic exception superclass is io exception then we have array index out of bounds exception again we have exception so what you can do is if you write exception it will handle everything so what you should do is after this three three catches you should write at the at the end you have to mention exception or uh, catch with exception okay so we can have multiple catch with one try okay so that's how you you mention uh, try with catch but uh, again we have some tricks here so once you complete this theory video this is just a theory of that in the practical session we'll talk about how to handle the exception how, how the, what what should be the sequence can you can you just write exception catch exception on the top is it possible we'll, we'll see all those things once you see once you once you start with all the practical stuff okay we we, we have one more thing let's say uh, we can handle the exception with, with the help of try catch right so the exception can be of two types it can be catch or it, it can be un, uh, sorry it can be checked or it, it can be unchecked so when you say the exception is checked it simply means that you uh, you are allowing your user to or if you are allowing your client to handle it okay there is so let's say if this is the way or if, if this is the way you can actually uh, you can actually jump to the different way if you are finding an exception okay but let's say if you if your if your user cannot do anything they they are, they, are, they cannot handle the exception make it unchecked don't don't make it compulsory for them to handle it okay so if if they can handle it make it checked if they cannot handle it make it unchecked makes sense right so that is checked and unchecked uh, but let's say we have we have three methods here we have method a b and c okay so method a calls method b method b calls method c okay in this scenario if c has an exception so if c is throwing an exception now we have two choice one c himself can actually handle the exception by using try catch or what we can do is we can ask c don't solve the exception by yourself send that exception to b because b is good at handling the exceptions okay now b have two choice b can handle the exception using try catch or b can throw the exception to a now a will handle it okay so we can also handle the exception using throws so throw simply means you are sending the request about the stack so c calls b to handle the exception b, b ask a to handle the exception so we can also use throws keyword for that okay uh, in fact we can create our own exceptions using throws keyword or throw keyword so we have throw we have throws we have finally so we'll discuss all the all those stuff when once we start with the uh, practical implementation so i think that's it that's what is exception is all about uh, so st make sure you watch the practical sessions also to, to make the clear understanding of it uh, if you uh, you can just find the practical session in the description in the in description area so that's it thanks for watching but do make sure you subscribe the channel so that you can watch 
uh, more videos. So that's it. Thank you so much.